I'm stone cold, motherfucker. <laughs> Give me that. That's when you shoot your dick off. Hello there, YouTube land and also YouTube lands. Welcome to an all new video. In this video, we're doing a movie review of a newer film that came out a couple weeks ago, and is a Dave Batista led film. So we're gonna get right into that. Before we do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss this video and the other videos I put up. As always, people, if you enjoy my content here on YouTube, dabble check out my other social media platforms, which is X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, Threads. Pretty much most of those regularly, so definitely check them out. As always, people, let's get right into this. So welcome, one and all, to an all-new video. So like I was saying before, I'm going to do a movie review of a new film that just came out a couple weeks ago, and it's a Dave Bautista-led film called The Killer's Game. Yeah! The Killer's Game. Yeah! So The Killer's Game is a new film from Lionsgate. And, like I said, stars Dave Bautista and a huge cast of other people. Uh, but this film is just one of those great action-packed kind of films with some humor in it, with some great romance, with some just all-around, all the things you're looking for in a great action film uh, along the lines of, like, films like the Die Hard films, like uh, Broken Arrow, Executive Decision, Con Air, stuff like that. This movie ranks up there, and I think that it's going to be come down and become a huge hit as the years go on. I think it's going to become a classic. It is just one really well-done film. And everything about the film I thought was really great and really enjoyable and just had a lot of great fun to it. And the action was superb and everything about it I just really enjoyed. And I came out you know, of the theater going, holy crap, that felt like an action film again. So really well done. Now, this film has to be directed none other by a former stuntman who has become a director, actor, and so forth, and is just all around, I think, has a really great eye for action. And then, of course, is the director that goes by the name of J.J. Perry. Yeah! J.J. Perry. Yeah! So, J.J. Perry, like I said, is a former stuntman, uh, actor, stuff like that, and he is just a great great director i feel i think he has a really great eye for everything action like i said and i think he really has a great eye of what action works what action doesn't work and just overall kind of a great idea of just how to make action look very entertaining and jg did a great job of bringing this to life this film giving us a lots of great action lots of humor lots of just great storyline and gave us something that was just really well-rounded and gave us these really superb action sequences that just really brought to life action again. Now, if you haven't seen anything else J.J. has directed, he actually directed a great film that came out in 2020 uh, that was directed to Netflix called Day Shift. Yeah! Day Shift. Yeah, the Jamie Foxx-led film, yeah. So he directed that, and I thought that film was so superb. The action in it was great, the story was great, the acting in it was really fun, and it had a great cast, and just overall I thought that it had a really great action theme with vampires and with zombie type of deals and stuff like that, and just overall was just a really well-directed film. And I remember thinking that, wow, this J.J. Perry guy, he came out of nowhere and just directed the crap out of this film, and just did a really great job of, you know, giving us, you know, great scenery to as well, great locations, along with the action. It just was a really well-conceived film. And I think the film really showed how much of a great direction and director J.J. Perry is. And I just think that movie is a really great example of showing you what you're going to get out of The Killer's Game. If you haven't seen The Day Shift, definitely check it out for J.J. Perry's directing. He did a really great job. But overall, I really enjoyed the directing that he did with The Killer's Game. I thought he did a great job. And like I said, I think he did all the right things to give us a really solid action film that was entertaining and I think better than quite a few other films that have come out in the last four years. Really done well. If you haven't seen J.J. Perry directing, definitely go check out The Killer's Game in theaters now. It's worth a watch. So this movie has a really great cast, a really enjoyable cast, lots of great people throughout it that all kick butt, all do a really great job, and just are really superb actors and actresses. 
And I really enjoyed the cast of this film because all of them brought real funness to the characters and really brought an A-game to their characterizations as well. Now, to start us off is none other than the main man himself, Mr. Dave Batista! Oh yeah, Dave Batista! Woo! So Dave Batista, you might recognize, of course, as a wrestler for many years. You might recognize him as Drax from the Garden of the Galaxy films. You might recognize him for a few things over the last few years. And he's really becoming a rising star. And he's really trying to, you know, make his way into other types of films, doing different types of genres. And I think Dave has a really great concept of becoming a decent actor. And over the years, I feel that he really has grown as an actor. And, I, you know, I've enjoyed him. I thought that he does a decent job. And you kind of have to have that kind of acting chops when you're, you know, a wrestler, too, as well. Because it is all part of a long, running, running show. So I think he already had it. He just really needed to fine-tune it. But I look at Dave Batista, and I don't see him as, like, a dramatic actor or anything like that. And it's not because of his size. I just don't think he is a that type of actor. I think he's more of that, you know, action-packed or comedy type of actor that just has that kind of sake and kiss you know, type of deal. And I don't think that, you know, he, he will try to do drama, but I don't think it will come out as good as his other types of films. But when it comes to his performance in The Killer's Game, he knocked it out of the park. He was absolutely fantastic. Enjoyed him very much. His action scenes were great. I thought his storyline was fantastic. I loved his acting throughout the film. I thought it really showed some improvement from his previous films. And I just really enjoyed what he did with the character. I loved his evolution, his growth throughout the film. And I enjoyed his relationship with all the different characters throughout the film. And I think it really showed that he really has improved on his acting. And he just still is just a really great action star. Now, if you haven't seen anything else he's been in, a great film to check him out in. I think he's absolutely fantastic in this film. Absolutely love him, and I think he does a great job in the film. And then, of course, the film called... Stuber! Yeah! Stuber! Yeah! Stuber is absolutely a great film. Really fun, really enjoyable. And it's got Kumana Johnny in it, and he is absolutely freaking hilarious. And Dave is just really fun in the film. I thought they worked really well together. And I think the best part is that we got a brief encounter with Nebula, a.k.a. Karen Jillian, in the film, too, as well as his former partner of Dave Batista's. And I love that whole, the whole dynamic of his character. He plays exactly what I thought he would play. And he's like that tough you know, long-running detective type of character, and he just kicks butt, but he's also super hilarious throughout the film, too, as well, and I just really enjoy what he brings to the character. Just a really well-done performance, and just a really great kind of first, like, kind of main lead role for him, too. If you haven't seen Stuber for Dave Batiste's performance, he did a really fantastic job. Check it out. But overall, really enjoyed Dave Batista in the film. Thought he did a great job in The Killer's Game. And overall, I think he just was super superb in this film. If you haven't seen The Killer's Game for Dave Batista's performance, go check it out in theaters now. Did a great job. So that brings me to the next person I'd like to talk about that was this film. And that, of course, is the main actress herself in the film, Miss Sophia Butella. Oh, yeah, Sophia Butella. Woo, Sophia Butella. Sophia Butella is so gorgeous, so amazing. Absolutely love her in anything she's in. She's always on point, always fantastic, and can play a wide variety of great characters. But I think her strongest suit is being an action badass chick. And she just was amazing in this film. I loved the character. I loved the evolution of the character. And I just really enjoyed her being, like, just a normal girl. I absolutely loved that. You know, her being kind of this sensitive woman type of character versus being like an assassin or an or action star or something like that. It was just nice to see her play kind of a normal girl character. And I thought she did such a fantastic job. You absolutely fall in love with her. You absolutely enjoy her. And you just enjoy everything she brings to the character. And it just is really well done. And I think Sophia just shined as this character and just absolutely was amazing as this character. And I thought her chemistry with Batista was really done well. And I thought that they did a great job together, and, and I felt like they really had a connection. And I enjoyed that, and I thought it was really done well. Now, if you haven't seen Sophia Battelle in anything, definitely a great film to check her out in. And I think one of my all-time favorites of hers is a great film that came out a few years back that's part of a great trilogy called 
The Kingsman. Yeah. The Kingsman. Yeah. Or just Kingsman. Yeah. Kingsman. Yeah. So the Kingsman, or Kingsman, is a great 2014 film that is super fantastic. Uh, amazing film. And Sophia Mattel plays a great assassin character with knife feet, which is super cool. And she just was so badass in this film and so awesome and just so enjoyable. And I absolutely love the character and she, her her you know photography her you know her dancing moves her action scenes were just so well choreographed and she played it to the t and it just was so freaking awesome she was a great bad guy she worked well with samuel jackson taryn egerton uh colin you know firth i mean they all worked so well together and she just was a badass character in it, and she was just so awesome looking and just really played the character to the T. And I just thought she was super cool and just, I think, one of my favorite performances of her. If you haven't seen Sylvia Mattel or anything, definitely check it out in The Kingsman. She was really fantastic in it. But overall, I really enjoyed her in The Killer's Game. I thought she was really fantastic. And I overall thought she just was a really fantastic character in the film. If you haven't seen Sophia Tella in anything recently, go check her out in The Killer's Game. She was really superb. So that brings me to the final person I'd like to talk about that was this film. And that is none other than the great comedian star himself, Mr. Terry Crews. Oh yeah, Terry Crews, woo, Terry Crews, yeah. Terry Crews is so awesome. Love him in everything from Brooklyn Nine-Nine to his performance in The Expendables to his performances in Idiocracy and many other films that he's been in. He is just a great comedian, and I absolutely love everything he does. He is so freaking funny, so awesome. It just is so amazing. And he is just one of those comedians that you can watch all the time in anything he's in because he's always on point super funny, and that's what he was in The Killer's Game. I absolutely loved his character this because he played more of a serious, more role. It wasn't as comical as he usually does, and it was nice to see a little difference from him. And he actually could play it off very well because he's, you know, such a massive, big guy, and he's just super buff. He just played the character so well, and he looked very sophisticated as usual, and just looked really awesome as a character. But at the same time, I loved what he brought to his character. I thought he had some really clever lines that he you know, and dialogues he gave. I thought that his performance was really well done. His action sequences were done well. And just overall, he was a really great character and a great addition to that cast. Now, if you haven't seen Terry Crews or anything, definitely a film to check about it. Hands down, one of his all-time best roles. It's a great film that came out in 2004 called The White Chicks. Yeah! The White Chicks. Yeah! He is absolutely hilarious as the pro basketball player in that film that's absolutely freaking hilarious him and Marlon Wayans you know dialogue back and forth and, and acting was super hilarious he has some really great scenes in the film he does his like dancing and stuff like that we see him in a in a, a speedo which was absolutely hilarious because he's just like I'm all buffed out stuff like deal and he is just on point super funny and has some great you know, little one-liners, has some really great chemistry with everyone throughout the film, and he just is utterly amazing in that film. Uh, if you haven't seen Terry Crews or anything, definitely check him out of White Chicks. He was super fantastic in that. But overall, I really enjoyed Terry Crews in the film. I thought he was a really great addition to the cast, and overall, his performance in the film was just really superb. If you haven't seen him in anything recently, go check him out in The Killer's Game. He was awesome, amazing, and just superb. So what is the killer's game about? Basically, the premise story is a veteran assassin, played by Dave Bautista, basically starts having these bad migraines and ends up going to doctors and getting tests done and finds out that he has a particular disease and he only has three months to live. And so he has just finally created a relationship but has to break it off. And so instead of going out by the disease, he wants to go out in style. Uh, and be assassinated 
because that's how he feels he should go out. So he basically decides to hire people to kill him, then ends up finding out that he was misdiagnosed and he's not dying. And basically the rest of the film he has to figure out a way to survive for 24 hours. It's a really fantastic film, really well written, well acted, great cinematography, great music, great action, great you know fight choreography everything on this film was just action-packed fun and just a really solid action film if you haven't seen it yet higher could go check it out in theaters now really worth a watch giant 10 goldie movie boxes up can't wait to add to collection. great film can't wait to watch it again so that's it for this movie review guys as always thank you for watching thank you for liking also thank you for subscribing and if this is your first time here, or you have been before, don't forget to check out any other new videos you haven't seen yet. Huge shout out to my new and old followers. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are rocking it. And as always, people, if you want to show support for the channel, help the channel out, please check out my Patreon page where you get all kinds of extra kuchel you don't get here on my YouTube channel. Where once you become a member, you get all kinds of access to bloopers, outtakes, all that kind of cool stuff. So, damn it, check that out. As always, people, catch you in the next one.